This is a continuation of lesson two, and what we are going to do here now that lesson two is essentially done, as you can see on the screen, lesson 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D are all complete. Uh, but in order to finish this off, we need to put our name, our period, and our date uh, on our drawings. As well as I'd like to see a little 2A over here next to uh, lesson 2A, 2B, 2C, and then 2D. So here's how we're going to do it. Uh, up on the top here, this is my text toolbar. And you can see I have note as well as simple note and then I've got text style and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep this really simple I'm gonna go to simple note and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just type in my name and I have all I have caps lock on so I can just type it in and I don't have to worry about it that way I keep everything in caps and I like to move mine to center center and what that does is it's gonna put a grip in the middle of my text and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just type in my name for now. And uh, it's on standard. It's on a height of 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and click OK just to see what this guy looks like. And so there's my name right there. I click on that guy. And that is just way too big. So I'm going to go back in and make some changes to it. So to edit my text, I just go. I click on it once. And then I can double click it. And I can make whatever changes I need to. So for example, I might change this to maybe 0.75. And also, to be honest with you, I hate this text. As a matter of fact, I had a CAD instructor in college who hated this text, and he forced us to uh, to change it. So as you can see, the, the current style is standard. There's a little button right here. I'm going to click on this button, and the standard font is this artxt.shx. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to call the new one uh, Comic Sans. And click OK. And you can see that changed to Comic Sans. And I'm going to change this guy down here to Comic Sans. And there's Comic Sans right there. And it gives you kind of a little preview right there. Uh, so now I've got two. I've got uh, Standard, which is you know what mine currently looks like. And then I've got Comic Sans. And the style is going to be called Comic Sans as well as the font name. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. And what that is going to allow me to do is now instead of just saying Standard here, it's also going to say Comic Sans. And so now I click OK, and then there's my name, and uh, it's still looking like 0.75 is too big. So I'm going to oh, actually switch back to 2. So I'm going to try this at 0.75, click OK, and uh, there my name looks OK. It still might be a little bit big, so I might change it to 0.5. And I you just kind of keep having to mess around with it until I get it how I want it to be. Uh, one thing I find easy to do is I could do that all over again, or at least now that I know what I want. Now I might type in uh, period one and then put in the date. And it's currently on uh, center center, which is good. That's what I want it on. It's currently on Comic Sans. That's what I want it on. And then I might change this to 0.5. And then I may put those two guys right there. And uh, now those are looking exactly how I would want them to look. Still, if I find them too big, one thing that you can always do uh, is you can right click on these things and go to properties, and up comes your properties box over here, and it is going to tell us the height over here. Currently it's 0.5. If I don't like it, I can always change that to 0.25, and maybe I like that even better. So now I change all of these, all of these heights to 0.25, and now they look. Uh, kind of like this. And what I can do then is I can take the grip and I can kind of move them where I see fit by just clicking on the grip and moving things straight down until I get it to how I want it to look. So this is known as the properties box over here. Uh, I can X out of it. Uh, but again, if you if you right click on anything, it doesn't really matter what it is, and right click on the properties, it shows you the properties of the line or of the text, etc. And then I just get a hit escape to get rid of the uh, the dialog boxes. There's my name, there's my period, uh, there's the date. And uh, another little trick that I use is sometimes I'll just take my text and I'll hit Control C and then I'll hit Control V and I'll paste that guy there. I'll hit Control V again, I'll paste this guy here. I'll hit Control V again, I'll paste this guy here and again, and I'll paste this guy here. And then I hit Escape and then I will come into these guys and you know then I'll just type in you know 2A and hit Enter. And then I'll go to this one and I'll double click it and I'll type in 2B and I'll hit enter. This one down here is 2D. 
and then this one down here is 2C. So sometimes that can be uh, a little bit of an easier way to, uh, to, to deal with text rather than going through, you know, clicking on this and setting everything up. So sometimes I use copy and paste. And now we have our name, our period, our date, and each thing is uh, labeled appropriately. We could save it and this would be considered, uh, considered complete as far as lesson two goes. Okay? Thanks a lot. We'll see you in lesson three.